Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and today is Vlogmas Day 5. Right here, I've got my little, this is my yarn bowl from Bella Crochet, Bella's Crochet Society, and my four finished squares. Let's see what's in door number five. This one's coming out a little tough. Um, we've got a skein of yarn, and let's see what this one is called. Foam shrimp. Looks very much like clotted cream to me, just I guess a little pinker. And then also in uh, here is a box of wooden beads. Let's look at these beads. Let's put that there. I'm thinking, if you see there's this little square, I'm thinking that these have to go on this side. Um, so I guess from what I've seen and heard and chat messages and whatnot, there's supposed to be some kind of secret message that comes on the back of this box. So I think I might get them like that. They don't really look the same color. I'm just putting it there for now. Let's look at these beads. That's a big box of wooden beads in here. Do I have a cutting device? Because there's tape on here. And I'm a real stickler. I don't like to ruin things. <laughs> so rather than possibly tear my box, I just cut that tape. Kids get mad because I'm like that about cereal and other containers. Don't tear into it. Just carefully open it so it can be resealable. So in here are some wooden beads. Now, another thing that I've seen and heard through the chat boards and whatnot is that in addition to um, having the pattern that all these squares go into to make a blanket, there are additional free patterns that are coming out like a little, that was what it said on the back of that card, I think she called them. What does she call them on here? She says, um, it says, I wanted to give you something extra special this year, so I have designed some exclusive mini makes to spread some Christmas cheer. The link to your patterns is here. So, your password to access them is below. So in addition to the patterns for that are making these squares, she also is giving you some mini makes. Now, one of the things that, because the UK people, they're already well into their day, maybe into the evening already, um, Actually, it's probably nighttime over there because it's 5.30 in American time right now, wherever I live, wherever that is. Um, they So this morning when I got up, the UK folks already had started day five and they had posted, it's a little ornament that you put those beads on. So I'll be interested because there is yarn left over. Now, one thing I have noticed is my, rain, my um, gauge is a little bigger than what the pattern is calling for. And so I don't have an abundance. In fact, I don't have hardly any yarn left. I ran out of the icing. This is as much clotted cream as I have right now. And this is the wine gum. But the ornament I saw was in wine gum. So I'm pretty sure I might have enough. Now, will I have the time to make the mini make? Probably not, I don't know. I'm barely getting these done. Um, I also did not weave in my ends because if this is just going so bad where my squares are way too big and I'm running out of yarn, I wanted to be able to frog them down a row, I guess. I don't know. The other thing that I've seen people talking about is if you can, can you guys see how we're carrying the yarn behind? Now, part of the, re the reason we're doing that, I guess is because, you know, we we do the red marks here and then we carry it all through here and then we just pick up the next color. To me, I'm kind of thinking that I might not continue to do that. When I know I'm just living on the edge here. I'm thinking that I'm gonna cut, fasten off and then do those stitches and then join back in. I'm not necessarily thrilled with wasting all that yarn because if you hold this up in the air, you can see all that yarn just running through here. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like that's kind of it's kind of a waste of yarn. I don't know, but I mean she's giving us the yarn. But if I don't crochet my gauge right, you know, I don't know. Um, so that is the drawer. Hopefully, I'll be able to go up and work on that. Now, I was going to tell you guys how I've had a tough day. So if you remember Wednesday, um. 
I'll turn it like this now because you guys don't have to see all that. Wednesday was Flynn's doctor's appointment. I took the day off of school. And usually Wednesdays, we start with a staff meeting in the morning where we go over any kind of information. I take notes at that meeting. And then right away, um, I the kids have a special on that day. They have gym, I believe. And so while they're special, I'm able to work on my newsletter. And then at their next, later on, in that little bit later on in that day, I start working on my lesson plans for the next week. And I usually, because I've been working there for a number of years, I just slide the lesson plans. It's kind of one of those things that once you've typed it, it's saved in this database. And then as you look and you reteach it, you can pull it from the database. Then you look over it and you're like, oh, I want to add this. I want to change that. I want to whatever. Or, hey, I'm going to leave this just the way it is. So whatever, because of my doctor's appointment Wednesday and then coming back and having to enter things in the grade book and then somehow when the sub was there, one of the kids lost their science packet, I forgot to do my lesson plans. Yeah, can you believe that? And because I normally have them done by Wednesday afternoon when I Thursday, Friday this weekend, I didn't think anything of it. So I come into school Wednesday, Monday morning and we have an early morning meeting. I get in my room and I like to give my teacher's aid a list of things to do while I'm teaching the first two lessons. And I realize I do not have anything planned. Ah, So yeah, I just feel like I was trying to catch up for the rest of the day. Then also because we have, um, we have a Christmas concert coming up. Uh, the music teacher wanted to have a few extra music rehearsals with both the classes together, the two second grades, because they sing together for the concert. So she wants to have them lined up and, you know, all that, standing next to who they're standing next to and whatever. So I had, that's an extra 30 minutes that was, you know, out of my day. So, I mean, from that, I mean, I was behind from the moment I started and so now that I got all that stuff done, I'm back on track. I got my lesson plans done. I finally got to eat my lunch. Then the internet went down. I'm not kidding you. It did. So it was it was a treat of a day. Um, and then this week is just full steam ahead. Tomorrow, Jer's got a basketball game. Wednesday, Maddie's got theater practice. Jer also has practice and uh Pictures, best ball pictures on Wednesday. Thursday, he has a game. Friday, he has a game. Tuesday, I have a parent-teacher conference after school. And I'm just like, ugh. And then actually, today is my dad's birthday. I have not sent him a text even. You would think, Summer, you can't take a moment to check your phone. And I feel like every time I go into my phone to start texting, I end up having something else happen. So, this is definitely the week. We were kind of talking about that in our Monday morning meeting about how December is hectic and you have all these extra things that are going on in addition to trying to celebrate the holiday season. And, you know, there's all this stuff that these added pressures, like, you know, for me, decorating my classroom, decorating the house, Christmas present shopping, you know, but still also trying to take that time to, you know, get your act together. So right here, I'm going to stop and insert the clip of me at school earlier today showing you my classroom. Okay, you guys, I go. thought I would just show you the bulletin board that I have been working on <laughs> when Madeline's on the floor down here. So this is what I decided to do on that board. I'm making this nativity out of construction paper. So we got the three wise men, Mary, Joseph, and the baby. We got a shepherd, a couple sheep. Over here, I'm going to make a big angel because I really love angels. I haven't decided yet. I think I'm going to bring some aluminum foil from home. And then there's the star. So that is the last piece that I have to do for the decorations. Then I thought I'd show you. Um, I had this tinsel and one of the kids put some on my desk. And then I have one piece up there. So I still have to go to Dollar Tree and pick up some more to go across because that really bothers me that it's just part way and then stops. But for the most part, uh, maybe I can show you the Christmas tree. We're starting to decorate it. So it doesn't look as bad. This piece is fallen. It doesn't look as bad 
<laughs> what now their ornaments are going up on it. But otherwise, oh, then I got some more tinsel that we put up there. It's got little bulbs on it. And then I hung some lights down there. When they're on, obviously it looks a little better. And then for some reason, the kids hung that bow right there. So the Christmas decorations are going well. Now, oh, here's, here's our little nativity set. I got that at the Goodwill for a couple bucks. Some kids made some hay in there for them. And then the star. Isn't that cute? All right. I will check back with you a little bit later. So, yeah, that is what I have going on in my room with a little bit of decoration. I'm actually very impressed with my bulletin board. Um, but I'm running out of time in general to get that angel up. So, I might try to make one today at home. I do have the aluminum foil. I want it to be a beautiful iridescent angel. I'll see what I have for scrapbook paper at home. But yeah, I'm going to start working on my my next crochet society. And then right now my husband's on the way up to the Nina to pick Jer up. And then we still have to have dinner. I'm really hungry right now though. It's all I can do to, from going up there and eating some chips. <laughs> That's my go-to. I love potato chips. So, all right, you guys. Um, that is pretty much it for Vlogmas Day 5. Maybe Tuesday I can do a little vlogging in the car on the way to the game. Maybe I can get a basket. Get another shot of a basket. Jaren making a basket. That'll be fun. Yeah. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. Thank you for watching my Vlogmas. And until the next video, which is tomorrow, happy crafting. Bye.